Hello guys and welcome to my course, our Java hands-on course. My name is Leonardo Silva. Today we are going for the fourth class of our course. So uh, in last class we were just under trying to understand uh, what are the operators in our Java, and uh, we saw all the different types of operators, the operators that we have in our Java too. And today, uh, in also which we saw the some of the, of the of the operators that exist in our Java two for creating observables or emitters. So what we what we are going to do today is to check uh, to learn more about two specific uh, operators that are one of the most important or most used ones that are map and flat map. So these two operators are called a transforming a transforming opera observable or transforming operators. So these operators, they basically are used to transform data. They are one of the, the they are two of, of the, the operators that we have for this. So uh, what exactly is the operator map? So the operator map transforms the even data, returning a new data that can be from the same or a different type. And the operator flat map transforms the even data returning another observable slash emitter with the same or different event type. So let's imagine that you have a single that you, you have single dot just that returns, uh, that emits an event with value 10. If you use a map, you have to pass in the map a function that's going to receive the event and needs to transform this number to something else. Could be another number, could be a string, could be an object, could be anything. But we return an object or a, or a value. On the other hand, uh, flat map, you, you must return another single with some information inside. Could be a string, could be an integer object or, or whatever. So if you have single dot flat map, the function that you pass to the flat map needs to return another single, right? So that's the idea. So uh, let's see some code. Let me close everything here. This is later. So let's first take a look at the map. So let's create a transform class. I will do the examples all, all here. So let's first do with single. So we have single, let's create a single, but just with the number 10. Um, then what we're going to do, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to map this. Well, better, let's do a more a real example. So let's create a class called user. User will have, I, I won't create get, get in second or anything, just do the, the simple thing. So I have name and also I will have age. That's it. So here, what I'm going to do, and also create a structure. Okay, so here I'm, I'm going to create a new user. Work on this. New user, I'm going to assign only the name here. So I will say Leonardo. What I'm going to do here in the map I'm going to receive a user, and here I will do I will set the the name of this guy. So I, what I could do, I could say for example, user dot oh, this. I'm going to transform. So I'm going to receive the event that's a use that's that's an user, and I want to map or to transform this user. So I could do something like this: user dot age dot uh, ten or thirty. Let's say then I need to return the user. But this is already a bad practice. Why? Because we are really transforming the object, the same object. And this follows some pattern from functional programming. That's the idea that all the functions that you have inside the transformers should be uh, should not transform it. They should be transparent. So they should not change any information here. So if I want to transform this, this user to another user, what I have to do is that I'm going to say new user I will pass the user dot name and 30 here, and that's it. So it get better. So that's one uh, rule for you. 
just to make it simple because if not you can use when you start to use you can easily use threads with Arc Java. if you start to use threads and start to mutate the objects here inside this will be a mess for you so don't do that so here you see that i'm receiving a user and i'm mapping to another user but i could also say okay i don't care about this i'm going to say uh, user dot name and i will return a string is years old something like that that's fine there is no problem if i if you see now you see that the next event so if i do a map again the event that's going to be produced will be a string event so a string an event with a string value right okay now fine so you see that i receive the map is returns a, receives a function that receives the object that's the event data and returns anything but if I do the flat, so, okay, why do I need the flat map, right? So let's imagine that you have a function here. So let's create a function called uh, fetch user. So this is going to have like a, a name. This is it's going to fetch the user by name in the database. Let's imagine like this, user. Well, let's imagine that here is, a, is an operation that takes some milliseconds and you want to do this asynchronously. So that's why you're going to return a single of user what you're going to do here so remember from the fur let's use the fur in that in that case it won't make any difference but let's use it it's only for you to practice a bit more so we use the fur and here we say um, new single dot just dot new user this will be with his name and the year 30 something like this now what, I, what I'm doing is that I have a just with the name, right? And now I want to do this and say, okay, I want to transform this string to the user that is the fashion right here. So if I do dot map, I will say, okay, I'm going to receive the name here. And then I'm call fetch user that received the name and that's it. Fine, right? It works kind of works. But if I do here, you see that now I have the map that receives a function and the, the value of the data of the event that's going to be produced by this guy, by this guy, because the event comes here. Then the event comes here inside. This guy transformed the event to something else. And the next, the result of this is going to, is, is, is going to be the event input or the event data for the next operator or the subscribe. In that case, it's the operator. So you see that the value of the event is a rapid event. So it's like a emitter inside an emitter. So the function expects a single of user. So let's try to do that. So I have like a single here. How do I manage this? There's no way. I, I just cannot say, okay, I, I will need to subscribe to it and then have the value here. That's, that will be a really, really, really workaround. So to help us to do that, to change, this emitters, we use flat map. So flat map is the same idea as we have in stream. So when in when so you if you already work with stream in Java 8, that's pretty easy for you to understand the concept. Because in, in Java 8, if you have the stream, so we have a stream for each item of this of the, this collection of, of this stream, we are going to do a map. So you map each value. But if for each value, so for sorry, but let's imagine you have one item, one item. And then from this item, you want to create a new a new string, for example. So you have like a, an ID and you want to fetch from this ID a list of objects. So what you do, you do the flat map, the same. So uh, it's basically the same idea. So if I do the flat map now, I receive here the user. Oh, I receive here, uh, not here. So now I have flat map. And now if I do the map here, you see that's going to return the user. So that's basically the idea. Now I have the user here and I can do whatever I want. So uh, let's do that here. And then now I'm going to print user. So it won't do anything because I didn't implement it to string here and I won't do that just to see. So you see that's going to print the object itself. It's the user, right? Perfect. 
Uh, let me see one thing. Change this. Ah, oh, yeah, right. Because the user is inside transform. Transform me data. That's right. Okay, so that's the idea of flat map and flat map. And for you to uh, improve your knowledge and like to practice more, I created one uh, package here. So just to remind all the code that I created in each class, you can find in the GitHub. So if I go here to GitHub, uh, Java hands-on. And here you can see you have one branch for each uh, class. So I'm going to create to push the class for after this. So here you can see that we have a package exercise one. And here I have a small complex exercise for you that will be really nice for you if you implement it. So what I did, I did the really, really callback hell implementation simulating a video project. So we have some components. We have the product service, the user service, the order service, the event service, and the publishers. So what the idea is that I'm going to find a user. So user service dot find user by email. So this find user, I, I created this delay just to fake like execution that's going to return to execute after some time, second or millisecond. So I'm going to do a find user that's going to be asynchronous call, like a fake asynchronous. This is going to filter all the users in this list by the email, but it will take one um, second to do that. So let's imagine that you're, you're taking one second. It's a lot, but anyway, one second to find a user. Then after you found the user, you have to find a product. But finding a product is also uh, uh, asynchronous. So it takes two seconds. And for each of this, I have a callback. So that's clearly a callback here because we have a callback. So here is the first callback. Then here we have the second callback. Then we have here the third callback and the fourth callback. So we have a lot of callbacks. Then find after finding the product by, by ID, that's the st static ID, this is going to create an order. So it basically creates an order, add the product, generate the ID. So you have the order. After having the order, you do a, che a checkout of this order. After you check out this order, you have to create an order, create event, create an event. So you first persist this event in the database. That's also uh, delay, delayed uh, execution. And then after that, you do a publish. So that's basically the idea. Uh, so the idea for you is going to create another exercise. You can just create an, another main or just can change this one and change all these methods here to work with RxJava. So for example, here you can say, okay, this guy find product. This, uh, to make everything simple, you can just use single instead of maybe. So this can be something that we are going to we can improve. So, but to 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 be a bit a bit easier, you can just use single for everything instead of maybe. But if you want to really practice everything, you can use single and maybe. There's some also some only some tricks when you in, like uh, integrate this maybe with single. That's something that we we can check later. So the idea for you is to first change all these methods here to return a single, remove the callback. And then you change the code to work everything and remove all these callbacks. Just do like, okay, I want this method. Now I want to com like to uh, combine this method with another method and make this thing work. So if you see this thing is working, should be working. Let's see. So searching for email, check out order created, generated event, generating event. Perfect. Yeah. Generating events are right here. It's already in publisher. So that's it, guys. Uh, so I hope you have you take some time to, to take this exercise. I'm going to uh, solve this problem, solve this this, this exercise. And next class, we uh, we are going to see. So let's go back to the to the presentation. So this is the homework, the exercise. I hope you do that. This is going to help you to understand everything much better because if you change if you write some code it's easier for you to understand and then what's the next so next class uh, we are going to see first before all the this this thing we are going to see the the solution of this exercise then we are going to move to the transforming operators two more that's the buffer and group by and then i'm going to take to give you another exercise that will that will be an extension of this current exercise using buffer and group by right so I hope you like it. 
See you next class. Bye-bye.